I'm Andrew Clark. I'm in the ECE department. And um, yeah, this will be my research overview. Uh, so basically, my broader area is in control and the security of cyber physical systems, which are systems that have some sort of coupling between cyber components, uh, like computation, sensing, communication, and an underlying physical infrastructure. So examples of that might include uh, kind of a, a popular one these days is driverless cars, unmanned aerial vehicles. Uh, but also smart grid and even advanced manufacturing uh, can be studied in this, under this broader umbrella. And the observation that kind of gave the idea for this line of work is that <clears throat> we're expecting these systems to operate with more and more levels of autonomy. So you don't want, you, there's this dream that you kind of program in what you want the car to do. You want to go, into a, uh, go to a certain destination while obeying traffic safety laws and so on and then just sort of let it run with minimal human intervention. Uh, so there's this goal of designing these systems that perform tasks and automatically synthesize controllers that satisfy various safety requirements, um, uh, performance parameters, and a, a set of mission goals. And what we're trying to do is to understand how do you achieve that even when there's adversaries present uh, targeting the system with cyber attacks. So, on the left is a kind of example that you can ground this on. You have an idea of a, a bunch of cars, some of which may be human controlled, some of which may be autonomous. And they're trying to navigate an intersection that has some kind of obstacle in it. And one of them is targeted by an external attacker. So, this, so various attacks on connected vehicles have been demonstrated in the wild, uh, able, where attackers have been able to remotely override the control systems or introduce fake sensor data and so on. So we're saying, okay, how does this picture of trying to control these vehicles moving through the intersection change when one of them gets attacked? And there's kind of two research components to how we try to study this problem. Uh, the first is just a modeling component where we say, okay, if you give me a kind of specification or a list of rules for how the system is supposed to behave, how are those impacted? So the specification I kind of draw here. How are those rules impacted when you have an adversary that pursues a specific strategy and has a certain set of capabilities? So for instance, has the capability to inject an arbitrary sensor input um, uh, to fool one of the, the onboard sensors of the vehicle? So that's the first part is just the modeling. What is the potential threat and impact? And then the second part is the actual control design. So how do you design controllers that have a good performance but are also uh, in some sense resilient or still safe when you have an attack going on. Uh, so just kind of the preliminary results so far have been in two directions. So we first focused on, given a set of logical specifications, how do you design a controller that maximizes the probability of satisfying them in the presence of certain types of attacks? And the preliminary results are somewhat promising. We're able to achieve uh, essentially at least a factor of two improvement in the success prob probability compared to when we don't take these attacks into account. Uh, the second sort of work that we've done is looking at one level below. So uh, how do you actually design the controllers at a, at a lower level that are, can actually implement these resilient control maneuvers? So we've studied problems like uh, regulation and reference tracking in the presence of false data injection, so GPS spoofing and those kinds of attacks. And we've been able to come up with mechanisms that maximize the performance of the system uh, while satisfying certain provable safety and reachability guarantees. So at the top level, what we're trying to do is take this idea of an autonomous system that's sort of intelligent and thinking for itself and try to understand how to make it think in a secure way. And then how do we implement that through uh, lightweight uh, control mechanisms. Um, so just kind of want to briefly touch on some of the other efforts that I'm doing. So uh, I also have some recent work on investigating the attack surfaces of connected vehicles. So with my collaborators, we've studied how uh, certain intrusion detection systems that have been proposed for connected vehicles are actually vulnerable or can be bypassed by an intelligent adversary. I've done some more theoretical work on game theory and using game theory to model uh, peer network security threats. And then there's, I have work in control that isn't really security related at all. Uh, I have three PhD students right now, and I'm also looking for additional PhD students. 
Uh, my kind of bread and butter is in control and optimization, but I'm also looking for people with background in learning or in um, hardware and software as I'm kind of getting into the uh, realm of implementing these things. And uh, I'm also planning to advertise for some MQPs for next year uh, that, again, are fo going to focus on um, testing out and doing some prototyping around these uh, theoretical methods that my students have developed. So, yeah, so that's my pitch. Uh, thanks.